What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. This is of course a draft class video for you guys. And I would be remiss if I did not mention that uh, you guys can save yourself $20 when you use code Bengal on SeatGeek. So anytime you need to buy tickets for anything, just go to SeatGeek, it's a ticket aggregator, and use code Bengal and save yourself $20. So uh, very, very easy, very cool, very cool. And um, whatever, we're going to go and check out the share and manage file section. This is how you're going to get to the find the actual file so very easy you had to download community files and there are a number of ways to load it up and there are also a number of ways to find it so of course my psn is gene dangus after my name and there are some draft classes out right now that are horrific and i really cannot emphasize that enough I hate to put them on blast here but i one of these two the two most downloaded right now and i get that it's july we haven't even seen the start of college football season yet um, but this class, one of these two, had uh, one running back, and this is a stacked running back class, and his name was not even close to spelled correctly. Travis Etienne's name was butchered, um, and most of the classes were, uh, like these two, were just terrible. So I hate to rip on them, but mine is significantly better. So you can search by keyword, or you can search for online ID. Um, in this case, I'm just going to search for keyword. I think it's going to be a little bit easy. So it's 2020. NFL draft, which of course that is uh, the draft class year, and then just my YouTube name, which is Bengal. So very easy to remember, or you can search Gene Dangus. It is a bit quicker, but my draft class will pop up. I do a nice little advertisement for myself there, a little bit of promotion. Got to use your brain. 44 downloads. Give it a like. Um, I really, I think it's going to be pretty good. I'll update this over the course of the year. Again, you got to remember this is July, um, and I have whipped it up. We're going to go ahead and load this into franchise and show you guys how to use it. Once you download that though, it's pretty simple. You can go to load and delete files. Um, and you can, I don't know that you can check it out on the home screen, but you can definitely use it in franchise. I'll show you how to load it up now if you don't know. So if you just started your week or your league from year one, um, or week one, you're not going to have the option for scouting. It's just not going to be there. I think it takes until week three or four for you to actually be able to get scouting points. Uh, and then the scout college players will pop up and it will prompt you at this point when you click it do you want to use auto generated prospects do you want to import a local file or would you rather um, download from the madden share so you can download it from this screen as well it doesn't have to be from the main menu or you can import local file that you've already downloaded um, i've already done it but we can just do it again so i can show you guys import local file you click on 2020 nfl draft bengal go ahead and load that thing up it's going to import the players and boom, it is now available for use. So, I tried to do at least four players from every position. And again, it is early. This will be updated across the course of the year. And it's going to include a lot more players. Right now, it's pretty bare bones. But again, the game isn't even officially out yet as I record this. And the college football season is not even close to underway for 2019. But we got Tua Tungo Vailoa, Justin Herbert from Oregon, Jake Fromm, KJ Costello, Jacob Eason, Sam Ellinger uh, from Texas. I think it's a good top six. It's a good QB class. These are the main ones. And, and again, this is the last time I'll say it, but more will be added. So if you say, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Feel free to comment that and I'll see if I can add them in or get some help maybe to add them in. Um, all the heights and the weights are accurate. Uh, all the schools are accurate. All of the name spellings are accurate. What is not accurate, however... Um, is the equipment. You guys can customize that if you'd like, you know, depending on who you draft or whatever. If you look at running back, we've got Jonathan Taylor, also DeAndre Swift, Travis Etienne, J.K. Dobbins, Najee Harris, Cam Akers, you know, Benjamin, and Kylan Hill. Those are eight running backs in this actual class. Um, and you can move guys around. I'm going to move it around a little bit because I think Taylor should be more of a first-round guy. DeAndre Swift, more of a first-round guy. Travis Etienne, uh, definitely closer in that range. These top three running backs are all going to compete across 2019 to decide who the best running back is. And maybe J.K. Dobbins has an explosive year. He gets into that conversation. Some people think Najee Harris can be in that conversation. Uh, I kind of view him as more of a one-trick pony. He's great. I just don't think he would warrant a first-round pick, especially when running back is so undervalued in 2019. Didn't mess around with fullbacks for the time being. It's, you know, the least important position on offense by a country mile. Speaking of a country mile, let's go ahead and head down to Alabama to see Jerry Judy. Now, I'm not showing you guys the ratings. I think it's more fun if you don't know them, uh, but they are varied across the course of this thing, so they're not necessarily straight in order. Some guys will have star development, some superstar, some even superstar X-Factor. I've tried to do, uh, like, 
maybe one superstar X Factor position. Some have more, some have superstar. I didn't really want to go too over top, over the top, but I wanted to still make it fun. C.D. Lamb's in here out of Oklahoma. LaVisca Chenault out of Colorado's in here. T. Higgins, Henry Ruggs at third. Jalen Rager out of TCU. Colin Johnson, of course, for my Texas Longhorns. Kendrick Rogers, another uh, beast in Texas, but he's in College Station at A&M. Tariq Black is in here. K.J. Hill. I added a lot of receivers, but this is a really stacked receiver class. Tylen Wallace out of Oklahoma State. Antonio Gandy Golden out of Liberty is a physical monster. 6'4, 220, great hands. Really exciting player to watch. Uh, I checked out some of his tape at Liberty last year, and he really flashes. You go, Liberty, but he's a beast. So we'll see if he continues to elevate his stock in 2019. Michael Pittman Jr., of course, son of former NFL receiver Michael Pittman, who I believe was on the Bucks for a while. I had a decent career. Tyler Johnson out of Minnesota. Chase Claypool, and those are 15 receivers in this class. And of course, this is early. Uh, I didn't do too much in the way of tight ends. There just aren't too many good ones at the moment, honestly. And, and there are some guys I'm probably missing and some guys that are going to have insane seasons and then end up being here. But right now, the cream of the crop was a tight end that I was hoping would come out last year, but ended up uh, going back to school at Mizzou. It's Albert Okwa Ibanam, really, really talented, do it all tight end, can block and catch, has fantastic hands, really great player. Also, Grant Calcaterra and Mitchell Wilcox out of USF. Three good tight ends. At, uh, at the tackle spot, I varied it a bit. So some of these guys are left tackles in real life that I slid over to right tackle. Um, some of them, if I project them more to move over to guard just based on a size or ability type thing, I move them over to guard. But uh, most of them are just their true position. Walker Little out of Stanford, Trey Smith, Andrew Thomas, Prince Tega Winogo uh, are the four at left tackle. Left guard, Logan Senberg, Shane Lemieux are the two left guards I added. Uh, not a whole lot of them. Center, we got Tyler Biadash out of Wisconsin and Jake Hansen out of Oregon. Also, Alex Leatherwood out of Bama is uh, real as well. At right guard, Ben Bredesen out of Michigan and Thayer Munford. Those are the two right guards I added. And then at right tackle, Trey Adams, Bakai Becton, and Calvin Throckmorton are the three right tackles. So there's, there's a good amount of linemen to choose from, I think. At left end, we've got Yutura Gross Matos out of Penn State, Nick Coe, Khalid Kareem out of Notre Dame, who uh, really goes over the top with Eye Black, but he's a really cool player. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really fun draft this year in 2020. A really uh, diverse selection of players to choose from and some really talented players. Chase Young maybe being the best player in the entire draft class. AJ Epineza as well out of Iowa. Chauncey Rivers, former last chance U guy. I think he was in the first season at uh, EMCC which is uh, what East Mississippi Community College, then went to Mississippi State and actually projects to be pretty good this year. So have him as a third round guy. Kenny Willickies out of Michigan Tech. Michigan Tech. That's supposed to be Michigan State. I'll change that uh, while we're here. I don't want to waste your time though. So we'll move over to defensive tackle where I gave you six options. Derek Brown, who's a monster. Raquan Davis, who's also a monster. To Daryl Slayton, who's 6'5", 343. Uh, if you go back to right tackle, there's some big guys in here as well. Like Makai Becton is 370. 6'7", 370. He's a big boy. Um, but to Daryl Slayton, a defensive tackle out of Florida. It's supposed to be Florida, not Florida State. I'll change that as well. That's my bad. Um, sometimes the, the wheel can be a little bit uh, weird when you're scrolling and you don't notice it as I've missed uh, two of these. Thank God I've noticed them though. Mustafa Johnson out of Colorado, LeBron Ray out of Bama, Naquan Jones out of Michigan State. Left outside linebacker, I've got Anthony Jennings and Tifa Galilee. Uh, Galei, Galei, that's a tough name for me. Someone's going to have to help me out on that. Josh Uche, or Josh Uche, I can't even say Josh, but Terrell Lewis in here as well out of Alabama. So you have four left as the linebackers choose from. At middle linebacker, Troy Dye out of Oregon, Dylan Moses, Kenneth Murray, Errol Thompson, Joe Bechi, who is uh, notably not black. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that. Dude, some of these just don't save. I feel like I definitely made him white. <laughs> I don't know why that, that's weird. Um, at right outside linebacker, we have K. LeVon Chase on out of uh, LSU. Could be really, really good this year. Terrell Lewis. Willie Gay Jr. You can't make his name gay so <laughs> had to settle for just a dash there um those are three right outside linebackers at cornerback there are a lot so there are so many guys that are just like so talented that it's tough to see who's going to be better than the others so we have a lot of first round guys bryce hall trayvon diggs brother of stefan diggs of course minnesota vikings receiver cj henderson christian fulton jalen johnson Beast out of Utah, Jeffrey Okuda, Lavert Hill, Marco Wilson, Cameron Dantzler, Sean Wade, and it feels like there's a space there. I might edit that as well. Uh, AJ Terrell out of Clemson, 
and those are 11 cornerbacks to choose from. At free safety, you've got Shaheem Carter out of Alabama, also like a guy that can move down a cornerback. He's kind of done it all at Alabama, almost like Minka Fitzpatrick did there as well. That's kind of a comparison for you guys if you like to use that. Marcelino Ball out of Indiana, Jaquarius Landrews and Brandon Jones are four free safeties, and then strong safeties to wrap it up. We've got Grant Delpit, absolute monster out of LSU, Isaiah Simmons, Xavier McKinney, J.R. Reed, Kyle Duggar. If there are any studs that you guys think are missing, make sure to let me know. Um, also, it's possible that they're not draft eligible, so make sure they're at least a redshirt sophomore or a junior, of course, a senior. Um, but guys like Caden Stearns, that I think is one of the best safeties in the nation, was a true freshman last year and is not draft eligible. So he, of course, is not in this draft class. But that is going to do it for me, guys. That is a breakdown of the class. I haven't added any kickers or punters. Um, just don't think it was worth my time at this point. But uh, yeah, they all have fun, different developments to choose from or to, to use. And you guys can add players as you see fit. You can change edit players as you see fit if you'd like to not going to spoil any of the overalls you guys can see that when you download the class this is ps4 exclusive at the time of recording i don't have an xbox to convert it over on xbox and there's no real way to do that not sure how to get it on pc either but please go ahead and download this go ahead like it and uh, hopefully we make the most downloaded draft class of madden 20 i'm sure you guys are definitely gonna help me in that regard as well. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you enjoy the class. Make sure to leave me recommendations down in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.